والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم. I was given a similar lecture in America and there was many doctors attending. There was one of them who had purchased a house from Riba. His house was the biggest and the most beautiful house in town. It was like a palace. He had a house before, but you know, he wanted to expand. He didn't have enough cash. So he bought a house with a mortgage with Riba. His wife, when she heard the lecture, she said, I'm not going to enter this house anymore. I'm going back to our old house. This is like hell for us. You know what the guy did, what the doctor did? He went and he signed up and he exchanged his retirement plan. And you know, if you collect your retirement plan in advance, you lose, you know what? You lose 30 to 40 percent. 30 to 40 percent. If your retirement plan is like a million dollar and you collect it a few years before it is due, you only collect 60 uh, or 600,000. In addition to you end up paying another uh, that much tax, so it's like half of it. You know what he did? He cashed his retirement plan. And he settled his debt with the bank. He said, I don't want to live in a house for Mriba. Because I just heard this is haram. There were other doctors there who didn't care the least. They said, this is America, yo, and you know, we live like everybody else. Subhanallah, within a few days, the stock market crashed. And those who had their money, their retirement plan was invested with other fund and stocks. They lost everything. And this guy was the only one who benefited out of his retirement plan. This is just an example to show us how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his own ways of providing for us and benefiting us. So the other doctors were, or the other people who cared not and they said, we live in America, and this is the 21st century, and there is no haram and halal in business, and so on. They lost everything. They turned poor. And this guy, by the leave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his business grew bigger and bigger, and now the house is free in a mortgage. And mashaAllah, la illa Why? Because he chose to do business with Allah. 